Hi everyone, my name is Shoaib Amjad from Monash University and today I will share some of our recent work on assessing three-dimensional density measurements from tomographic background-oriented Schlieren, or TBOS. This study falls within a larger project on three-dimensional turbulence measurements in heated jets. Here, we aim to numerically validate an experimental multi-camera TBOS setup and assess the impact of different sources of measurement error using the direct numerical simulation of a heated jet. The background-oriented Schlieren technique is an optical method of density measurement, which relies on the Gladstone-Dale relation between a fluid's refractive index and its density. As light rays propagate from a background pattern through a flow, they experience a deflection due to the refractive index gradients, and the camera detects this as an apparent displacement of background features. By placing multiple cameras around the flow, a tomographic reconstruction of the instantaneous three-dimensional refractive index gradients can be performed based on the path integrated information from the cameras. We can summarize the TBOS measurement process like so. In our investigation, we will be assessing the performance of two reconstruction methods. The first is the filtered back projection, FBP, which is an extremely computationally efficient method based on Fourier transforms. The disadvantage of this method is its tendency to introduce spurious artifacts when the number of cameras is limited. Secondly, we test the algebraic reconstruction technique, or ART. This is an iterative method which can be modified to remove reconstruction artifacts, and as such, it should be much more suited to limited view tomography. We will also use an FPP as the first guess to ART instead of arbitrary conditions to improve the accuracy and rate of convergence of ART. Our validation procedure starts with the density field of a heated jet and its gradients, which are obtained through direct numerical simulation. Using a ray tracing procedure, the synthetic background displacements are generated for our virtual camera setup. We can test each part of the TBOS process with this method, and today I will be presenting a part of the results focusing on the quality of the reconstruction methods and the impact of defocus blurring, which is a kind of spatial averaging that is inherent in almost all TBOS setups. The virtual camera setup for the validation procedure is based on our 15 camera experimental rig in the LTRAC facilities. The cameras are positioned circumferentially around a heated jet, with me often watching on in amazement. A heated jet simulation is used in our virtual setup. It has a Reynolds number of 10,000 and a density ratio of 0 0.83. We will examine the TBOS measurements at 10 downstream positions. Now let's look at the results. Firstly, the effect of defocus blurring. Spatial averaging is introduced to the TBOS measurement through defocus blurring in BOS, where the background is placed further away than the flow in order to increase the measurement sensitivity. The blur is a function of the camera aperture, DA. We express the blurring as a function of the nozzle diameter and the corresponding apertures for the downstream positions. The correlation coefficient and RMS error between the blurred and the original fields are used to gauge the impact of blurring. Even at lower levels of blurring, the impact is stronger in the laminar region of the jet. As we will see, the non-random error from blur is dominant in the TBOS measurement, exceeding that of imperfect reconstruction and typical random noise in the displacement calculation. Therefore, in turbulence measurements, it is very important to minimise the blur from the setup, as we lose the information from the smaller scales. We can see the effect of increasing blurring with downstream position. Sharp gradients are smeared out, which is evident in the laminar region close to the nozzle. This causes the density to be underpredicted and the jet to appear larger. As the jet transitions to turbulence, the blurring causes the small scales to be lost. Beyond 6% blurring, the pockets of high and low density fluid inside the jet appear to be mixed, leaving only an average measurement. Moving on to the influence of imperfect reconstruction, which is mainly influenced by the number of cameras. 
Using the field with 6% blurring, we examine the RMS and peak errors between the reconstructed and original fields for our 15 camera setup. A sharp increase in both errors occurs as the jet transitions to turbulence, because the ability to resolve the smaller scales is limited by the number of cameras. The ART methods converge quickly, with little difference between 10 and 100 iterations. The error of the art reconstruction is significantly lower than for FBP, and we shall see that this is due to the presence of reconstruction artefacts. Our ART method contains the modifications which are aimed at diminishing any spurious reconstruction artefacts outside the jet, and to concentrate the iterative corrections towards the center of the jet. The initial condition to ART appears to have little impact on the final measurement with these modifications in place, whether they are the null gradients, ART only, or the FBP art reconstruction. Looking at a transverse plane through the jet at x on d equals 5, the difference between the FBP and ART methods is stark. Although FBP is extremely efficient, the limited camera number means that many reconstruction artifacts are placed outside the flow. In turbulent flow, these artifacts can be indistinguishable from genuine flow features. The two ART-based reconstructions bear a much closer resemblance to that of the original field, although some smaller scale features are not captured well, in addition to the information that is lost through blurring. We have also examined the effect of random noise in the displacements which are used for the tomographic reconstruction. With added random noise in the range of plus or minus 15% of the largest displacement, a reasonable reconstruction of the jet core is still achievable. The largest impact is seen outside the jet, where the signal to noise ratio is relatively lower. To conclude, in this study, we have numerically validated three-dimensional measurements of a turbulent heated jet using a 15-camera TBOS setup. From testing the influence of errors and uncertainties in each part of the measurement process, we have found that defocus blurring can be the most significant source of error in the measurement. After testing FBP and a modified ART, we expect that an ART TBOS method will be able to produce reasonable measurements of the turbulent transition in a heated jet. Lastly, it was seen that ART appears to be robust to input displacement field noise for noise levels typical of experimental conditions. These findings give us confidence in the ability of our TBOS setup to conduct faithful three-dimensional density measurements in heated jets. Thank you for listening.